Welcome back, everyone. We are underground in Chateau Leblanc. And we just saw a very interesting sphere that appeared to have Titus on it as Mike and told us something that was actually valuable. So yeah, last episode, even though it was side stuff, actually had some very useful information. Not bad. Uh, you might notice that Riku was in white mage dress sphere. I put her there temporarily. I'll explain why in a second. But first of all... We have to head back to this room because I was here last time to get that treasure chest. And like an idiot, I missed something very important for the 100% run right over here. Crimson Sphere 4. And we will view that as soon as we get on the airship. You need it for 100% to run, people. It's required. So let's get the hell out of here. We are done with this place. Onto the airship we go. So let's talk to Mr. Shinra. I know, that's why we see you everywhere, man. And let's check out that new sphere we got. Play it? Absolutely. Crimson Sphere 4. This is the final exercise. We have reports of something extremely dangerous inside this cave, but we lack more detailed information. We're to eliminate it? No, you are simply to investigate. Report your findings back to me. Remember Keenock. Those who return here alive will become formal members of the Crimson Squad. Sir! Yes, sir! for all of you. Claiming a weapon for yourself will be part of this exercise. This is it, gentlemen. You have your orders. Begin. <laughs> kind of interesting how Nuge and uh, Barali are both there. Interesting. They worked under Keenock. So obviously they know something about Vegnagun that they're not telling us about. What's going on? Oh. And they still had time to record this. Something horrible obviously happened, and they still had time to record this. <laughs> My goodness. Interesting sphere. Anyways, off to our next area. This one is going to be fun, but I promise to actually edit out some battles here. Off to the Thunder Plains we go, and we're here to basically talk to two individuals. Nothing less, nothing more. This is where I did a lot of my off-screen leveling, by the way, earlier on. Um, here's Shinra again. What is he doing? Okay, whatever. Anyways, we gotta head way, way, way north. To talk to two individuals, we will find them eventually. One is close by and he's right here. The other one is a little further north. Ugh, are you still bummed out about that, Pops? Who asked you? Let's go. Yuna. I'm sorry. Can you forgive me? She doesn't answer him. That's funny. I'm sorry! Why is he stealing my catchphrase? I thought I saw a treasure chest over here. Riku, you leveled up, eh? I could have sworn I saw it. There it is. I knew I saw a treasure chest over here. During that cutscene. Oh, high potions. What a waste. Anyways, now we have to head way far north. Like, it's like just ridiculously north, right near the entrance to uh, Makalania Woods. 
But I am editing battles, so something I don't typically do very often, but I have a lot I want to accomplish in this episode, and as I was saying before, I was so really interrupted, I have a lot to accomplish in this episode in very little time, so we gotta get on it. I hope I'm going the right way. You know what's really weird about this episode, guys? You guys are going to get a good laugh out of this. I've actually recorded, believe it or not, like four or five episodes straight. Something I have not been able to do with this game since I started. So, that's got to be a good sign that I'm really getting into uh, playing it, you know? And <laughs> first two chapters were pretty slow, but it does, it does seem to be picking up a little bit. And that's what I mentioned. And uh, that's what I mentioned originally with this game. I said... It starts slow, it picks up. The only thing that I'm doing right now that's not so great is I have Riku under the priest tree, which she's already mastered. But I'm doing that for the next area we're going into, so not to worry. Anyways, this is where we gotta go. You guys better watch out. With horns like that, you're just asking to get struck. Leon and Aid left mountain to find a way to repair Elder Kimari's horn. We cannot return to Mountain until a way is found. Oh Can no! You to find that here? Yep. Yes. Where does Lady Yuna think we should search for a way to fix Elder's horn? Make sure you guys choose Kilika Island. Uh, what's in Kilika? Well, uh, <laughs> just a hunch. Leon and Aid go there to look. Thank you, High Summoner. You're now welcome, Aid. Ronzo. <laughs> Liam and Aid. Funny. Young little Ronzo, they have a lot to learn and a long journey to go through. Yay! Pain learned death! Abilities! Pain! Oh wait, was that pain? I keep mixing pain and Yuna because I'm used to... Pain being in the warrior tree. Yuna learned death, and now she's learning black sky damages all enemies. That sounds useful. That's gonna be a while to learn though, but that's okay. Onward! North! Towards the exit. What's this guy doing here? I've been trying to calibrate the lightning towers, but it's more work than I thought. So, it looks like I'm, uh,. 14 minutes into the video of recording, but I edited out like all the battles, so it should be like half of that, seven minutes. So that gives us time to head our next area, I would think. And this is pretty much where we have to go, Makalania Woods, except we are taking the airship and then coming straight back here because. Let me make sure we got all our health back. Good. We're coming straight back here because this, when we come straight back here, it'll take us to Makalania Lake, which is where we need to go. So, I'm not even going to bother saving. I think we got this. Let's go straight to... Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> what am I doing? Uh, I'm lo losing my mind here. Let's go straight to Makalania Lake. Makalania Lake. 
So, just go right back to Makalani Woods and it'll take you straight there. Very nice. Oh no! Here? Must be from Makalania Temple. The fact that it's underwater doesn't seem to matter. Eh, Makalana! worry about my later! Uni! We have to help them! Yup. Ten you gold. Oh wait, we don't use gold in this game. Ten gil! Mission time, begin! Root the fiends that have attacked the travel agency. There is no time to heal between battles. So we actually have to go through a little gauntlet battle, which is kind of different and cool, and I don't mind this mission. Now, these enemies are actually very tough, so they're not to be underestimated. And what I typically like to do, almost every battle, is use Shell, because these guys are all uh, magic-based. little darkness. A little prey. And here we go, they're using already their first stupid magic. And thank God for Shell, because that would have creamed me if I didn't have it on. So, should be alright now. Um, let's use Blazaga. Oops. Blazaga. I think most of them are weak to that. And uh, this gauntlet, the bad thing about it is you can't really heal between battles, so you have to kind of be resourceful. Uh-oh. Ah, well, at least you attacked the right person. Oh, you attacked them all. My bad. Dead! That is battle one of six. Of course, I'm not editing this out because I want to show you guys this whole gauntlet and the way it works. And how it can be pretty intense if you're not careful. Now, for these next guys, obviously we know about them already. They do nothing but physical attacks. However, we should be able to take them out in, like, one blow. See? <laughs> Easy enough. I didn't even have to really think too hard on that battle. It's funny, because I saw another Let's Player do this, and you really struggle on these battles. I guess it's because I'm a little more leveled up. I'm not sure. Um, but whatever, I'll take it. Let's do a little Kira. Not that everyone, people are low on health, but uh, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't hurt. Attack. Pray. Let's do a little uh, Fyraga on him, a little prey, and he should be dead. That son of a biatch! He just stole one of my high potions. That ain't right. I didn't know they could do that. Shatter high potion. What kind of ability is that? Stealing my it's like might as well just steal next battle Okay, one of these again. This is probably the hardest one out of all of them because of all those magic based attacks so We're gonna cast shell again And we should be fine Zaga I love the darkness my god, I gotta say the Dark Knight, people are right. I apologize to my viewers. It is a freaking amazing dress fair. Absolutely ridiculous. Dead yet? Thank God for all this extra magic I have. Uh oh, Chaos Flame. That's not good. Ooh, that hurt. You're dead. Next. This is too easy. You guys can give me a little more challenge than this. I think this is the last one. Ah, these guys again. Yes, yes, of course. Focus. Pray, darkness. That should take them out. And just in case it doesn't, we'll do a little fire. See? Oh, and she learned Thundaga to top it off. Very nice. Damn, I just completely owned the gauntlet. Oh, there's another battle? I thought we were done. I'm sorry. 
Riku. Let's cast a little Kiraga, shall we? A little darkness, a little focus. A uh, little uh, protect. That's it. By the way, no if you guys notice Riku is getting hit a lot less with the magical attacks, it's because I equipped that accessory I recently got on her. You know, the one that uh, halves the damage against um, pretty much all magical attacks. <laughs> Die. Ah, oh, this one's tough. <laughs> I just hit him for 4,400. That's ridiculous. Holy crap. That's insane. I think that's the last of them. It was a message. I sent a message to Veganagun. That's what that was all about. The message has been sent. Mission complete. Holy crap, look at all this good stuff. Whatever, I'll take it all. We got a new garment grid, the pride of the sword. Fred for Linstone? Oh no! Don't talk. Save your strength. Oh no! You scored the Berserker dress sphere. Nice. You scored the key item Maldiv Primer one. Ah, what's happened to me shop? Come on, I'm sorry. The money I owe ye. You can't die before I pay ye back. Think of me reputation. I'm begging ye. <laughs> oh, now look what you've done. Disgrace. Disgrace. It's okay. Awaka. Awaka. It's it's okay. It, it's okay, Awaka. Oh. Awaka's crying. I'm sorry. Poor Awaka. The poor man. Let's check out our new dress sphere. Berserker wield brute force to reign supreme in battle. They got attacks like Berserk, which I'm not a fan of. Cripple. Nice. Crackdown. Damage is 1 ML and nullifies. That seems good. So this sounds like an interesting dress here. Hmm. We'll have to look into it. I don't know too much about it. But anyways. Um. First of all. Riku. Well. We'll get to that next time. We're all out of time. We should be 50% complete with the game. I think. We should be halfway done with our 100% run. Let's check that out. Yep, 50% done. So thank you all for watching. This has been another episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy X-2. Until next time, well, until next time.